Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. And we'll just keep everything like this the same. I want to make this 1280 by 720 though. Keep everything else the same. Transparent background is fine. Uh, that works too. Okay, so now we just need to find one of our favorite images. Uh, I found a dog here, so I just typed in dog in Google and I found a dog. So we can just use this right here. So you want to save it. I'm just going to save this as dog. Go back into Photoshop, find our area where we have this saved, and just drag the dog in here. I scale it up a little bit like this, that way we can just press the W tool. Now the first step is to remove the background. So we see there's like a little white background behind the dog, we just have to remove it. So if you press the W uh, tool on your keyboard, or if you go to the left side of your screen and see the magic wand tool, um, you can change it. So you just click this right here and you just hold down shift and you can get this done here. Then you go to the select button at the top, click inverse, control Z, control V. And now we have the dog by itself. Now we can delete the old layer over here as well. Okay, so we have the dog by itself. We probably lost a little bit of it. We can just, you know, get rid of this right here. It's okay. And then we can just make this a little bigger. There we go. I'm just pressing control T right now to transform it to make the dog look a little there we go okay so next what we want to do is we want to add a t-shirt to the dog so we can just go type in t-shirt PNG on Google we can just find uh, this right here works we can just click save the image and just type t-shirt go back to Photoshop and then find the t-shirt and then just drag it in we can make this a little bigger like that. Okay, so now we have a t-shirt on the dog. Now our next step is to add a border. Now for the border, border all we have to do is we have to make sure that the, the rectangle tool over here is selected. Then go to fill and get rid of fill, but then add a stroke behind it. So you can just do like a stroke of that much right there would be fine. So we're gonna make it the size of our canvas. Increase the stroke by a lot more if we'd like. And then if it's not fitting correctly, we should be all set. And there we are, we have a border. Next, we're going to add some hair to the dog. So I'm going to go down here, and in this little button down here, it says Create New Layer. I'll just click Create a New Layer. I'm going to press the B button, which is the brush tool. And I'm just going to choose a brush. Then I'm going to get rid of, move the size down a lot more so now I can see it. So now I'm going to add some hair to the dog. Let's just get some light blue hair. So all I'm going down here is I'm just clicking on this tool right here, which basically is like the color you want to use for the brush tool. And I'm just going to do some light blue hair. And then I'm going to press B and I'm just going to, just going to make some hair. We're going to have different hues of it too. There we go, we got some new hair on there. And then we're gonna we're gonna, then we're gonna put a little rectangle. We're gonna do this right here. We're gonna do it's kinda like a little speech bubble. And then we're gonna choose the fill as let's just do a um let's just do a like an orange like that, something like that should work out fine. And then we're gonna press the T tool and choose anywhere on the space and just type I'm something funny. Um, I'm a human. Let's just type that. We can drag it inside here. I'm gonna change the color of this to white. Okay. And then also I'm gonna add some small uh, little circles like this to indicate that this is what the dog is thinking. So I'm just gonna click on the first circle. Control C, Control V. Alrighty. Just 
drag this back over there like that and we should be good to go now all we're going to want to do next is we're going to let's just add a new color background to the back of this so we're just going to create a new layer drag it all the way to the bottom and I'm just going to go to let's just go to the I'm sorry we can just go to the um, the rectangle tool I'm sorry and we can just change this background to let's just do a a green just draw a green behind it then we're good to go now all we have to do is export export as save as a JPEG export all Oops, can't use quotes. And so there we are, and we're good to go. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.